I am Toy Insanity, and today on the Insanity Calendar is World Lottery Day, August 27th. Did you know lotteries go back to ancient times? They say the funding of the Great Wall of China was paid for by lotteries. Ah, okay, listen up. This is, you know, technically not a lottery. It's called Lotaria. Lotaria, which means lottery in Spanish. Though, according to the interwebs, the game originated in Italy. Furthermore, the guy who did the famous public domain images. Ah, uh, you can see him in the background here. I have the exact images here. Ah, uh, he's from France. So, <coughs> whatever. It's become a big part of Mexico's identity. Mexican bingo, a.k.a. Lotria. Yeah, this dude. Don Clemente since 1887. I think Don Clemente is French, or at least Don Clemente's illustrator was French. Uh, whatever. For some reason, we didn't get... They made three. For some reason, we never got La Chalupa. But we have L. This is kind of like Little Devil. Uh, but the cards always say El Diablo. And we do not have La Chalupa, but I do have the original card. I'm going to teach you how to play, too, Bert. Stick around. And La Muerte. Death. I got death. Okay, this is exciting. I don't know. Maybe next year we'll get the third one. Maybe they'll make more. Oh, yeah, look. I was picking out the ones that they could make. Because you notice a lot of things are just boots, hands, and watermelons. You can't really make a Funko Pop of that, but you could make El Mundo. La Dama. El Valiente. Uh, this means the brave. El Catrine. Uh, this is like a dandy gentleman. So the name Katrina is like a dandy female. Uh, you could possibly make uh, La Calavera a skull. Uh, maybe we'll look at the rest. I don't know. I gotta finally get these out of the box. They've just been sitting on the shelf, collecting dust in the stupid box. I'd rather them collect dust outside the box. El Diablo. Now, if you ever go to, <laughs> like I said, public domain art and also a big cultural artifact of Mexico. If you ever go to flea markets, man, you see these images, these exact images on so much stuff, including apparel so this is weird look he has one cloven foot and one bird foot that is how it's drawn my goodness that's cool this card is the source material for this Funko Pop and they have some original cards in the background but I don't think these three La Muerte. And, uh... For some reason, we got that guy glows in the dark, not this guy glows in the dark. And no Chalupa at all. Chalupa means boat. I don't know if I said that. Get that... <laughs> thing out his butt. Anyway, it's cool. It's cool. They're cool. Where is... Here we go. Very cool. Extra cool. Super cool. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to play. I should have put these three in top loaders. And eh, whatever, they're backwards. But, hey, maybe that could be a thumbnail, eh? Hey, 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 happy lottery day, hey. La Chalupa. Uh, maybe we can get it next year. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. So, there's supposed to be 10 playing boards, but I got these used. They're very vintage looking, but that's part of the appeal. So, I'm missing one of the boards, 
but you do love the boards, so you probably grab the boards, you know, you do love the boards, and then uh, you shuffle these, there should be 54 cards, I don't have all 54 cards, but you shuffle these, and then draw from the top, just like Mango, but it's not letters and numbers, and then, uh, and then you read the, you read the clue, you read the description, Al pasar por el panteón, me encontré una calavera. Well, I, I figured these clues would not have the actual word in it. Una bota igual que otra. Because, you know, some versions, some families, you would, you would have to describe the item without saying the word, okay? And then th this, uh, this particular set has stuff for the kids on the back. That's cool. La araña. Las jarras. El pajaro. Uh, anyway, what's cool? I see that on... I see the scorpion on shirts all the time. What's cool is how you win. It's a little different than... You know, the rest of the bingo you may know. So your family, I guess your group of people will decide, okay, are you playing complete table? Are you playing four? But what, what's not shown on this, every source on the interweb says you can win horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. But every source on the interweb says, or four, four, any four in a square. So this would be a win, 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 this would be a win. Additionally, the four corners. Four, 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 four. Uh, for some reason, La Rana. That could be a Funko Pop. I don't think I have that card, though. But, uh, you know, everybody just loves the artwork. Okay, here's, I know this will prove that they use the same thing on the back, because there's El Sol, El Sol, oh, very cool. Lotaria, Lotaria, will they make more? So the reason this is three, four, five in board games is back in the day, one and two were a Monopoly Man. Then they shifted Monopoly Man for his other Funko Pops. They shifted him to... Retro toys. A flag, a pair. El gorrito. What is that, like a bonnet? A deer? So you get it, you get it. A bottle. See? You get it. I know, I know you. You got it, and you get it, and you get it good, and you got it. Now, the reason... Uh, I was supposed to say something. Okay, the difference between a lottery and a sweepstakes is, well, a sweepstakes technically you always got to say, you got to say, no purchase necessary, okay? Lottery purchase is necessary. But in the U.S., and I heard even Mexico too, all lotteries are state-run, okay? Now, the reason you see bingo holes, I think 46 states have these bingo holes, and the reason that's not considered a lottery is because some exception was made for charities. So all the money you're paying to play bingo or Mexican bingo, that money supposedly, allegedly, is going to charity. Okay. Okay. Uh, happy days. We're here again. Thumbs up. Goodbye.